gray skies already. So just how much of a soaking are we talking about? Let's take a block of time from this afternoon into Sunday evening and we could be looking at spots south of the I-10 corridor here, Louisiana, picking up as much as three to five inches of rainfall. So you do the math, that's a good inch plus a day here. So uh, it is an area that could absolutely use it. We have some very dry conditions, drought conditions across all the way from the Southern Plains across to the Southeast. Uh, but with that said, it is coming on a weekend, so we wanna prepare you. You look at the overall flow and the water vapor imagery shows that beautifully. You have that finally, uh, that moisture churning up from the South. We've been seeing those northerly winds. It's been very, very dry. Finally seeing some of that begin to pop up and it is showing up on the radar as well. It's generally light showers right now, but we take you through uh, the next couple of hours into the next couple of days and we will see how quickly that return flow fills in the radar. So uh, we're taking you into the future now through the lunch hour into this evening and you start to see not only more in the way of cloudiness, but more in the way of showers and then lots more coverage as we get through tomorrow morning. So again, think about your plans this weekend. Are you heading out early tomorrow? Uh, I-10, I-20, even up towards I-40, you'll see some showers, even a few thunderstorms straight on through uh, Saturday night. Some of that rain uh, continuing to march off to the east. So what that means by Saturday night, it's back into Destin and Tallahassee as well as Atlanta. Also Nashville, Charlotte, Norfolk. These are areas happy to see. I think green on the screen this go around. It is too mild, of course, for any threat of mixed precipitation. And then by Sunday, it is all up and down that I-95 corridor, 75 as well. If you're heading south out of Atlanta towards Tampa, you've got rain along the entire way. So Dallas, the uh, next couple of hours, obviously prepare for some showers. Temperatures will be into the 50s as we get in through later tonight, and that's pretty much where we'll stay, again, with at least cloud cover, uh, but certainly the chance for some showers. In Tallahassee, we were enjoying and marveling your beautiful blue skies this time yesterday. Uh, by later today and tonight, certainly uh, the clouds rolling in. By Saturday night into Sunday, you have the showers. Notice the slight hit in temperatures that you take from the 70s into the 60s. And then by Sunday night, temps falling into the 50s. Jacksonville, similar story. The rain moves in and a little bit cooler by the time Monday rolls around. Jackie is locked in. So as we track that next system, we have cold air. Terry Sanders, thank you so much. Time now for the Alka-Seltzer Plus flu report. And as you might imagine, uh, make it a little bit worse before it gets better. So what we're looking at here are the current flood warnings related to the ice jams. And you can see them in green. There's the Delaware, but you have that little spot right there. That is the uh, Housatonic River out near Kent in Connecticut. So we've had this cycle of thawing and melting. And unfortunately, we still have the thaw part of the cycle. And